Chào mọi người đến buổi sáng với buổi set talk lần thứ năm về chủ đề ngành kiến trúc ở trường đại học Nam Úc UDSA. Buổi um, set talk ngày hôm nay thì có sự tham gia của khách mời đặc biệt đến từ đại học Nam Úc. Xin giới thiệu thầy uh, Mr. Adrian Gold, coordinator của Uni uh, UDSA Creative. Thì Sylvia Lee là International Recruitment Officer của Đại học Nam Úc và bạn uh, Huy Đức là học sinh năm thứ ba của khóa Bachelor Architecture Studies trường Đại học UniSA. Thì um, nếu như mà các bạn có câu trả lời, câu hỏi gì trong quá trình livestream thì các bạn cứ free free to ask nha. Thì um, firstly, um, so I'd like to ask um, Mr. Agent Gold. So how are you today? Have you got any update for uh, UniSA and uh, Adelaide. Yeah, hi Min. Um, thanks for thanks for um, letting us join this session. So it's an absolute pleasure to join. So, and greetings everyone from Adelaide here in South Australia. Um, so everything's good from UniSA at the moment. We're getting lots of international students back, which is great. Um, so yeah, no things things are looking really really bright. Yeah, that's and a good thing. Thanks Linus for joining us as well. So one of our students and also Sylvia, my colleague. So. Yeah, so um, so today we are going to focus on architecture courses in um, UniSA. So can you share a little bit about um, architecture and design courses in um, from your side? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Look, uh, what I'll do shortly is I'll actually go through a bit of a presentation. It's probably good for you to get the visuals. Um, yeah. So I'll tell you all about the questions that you've got. So whenever you're considering studying, um, you've always got to consider, you know, the city, um, you've got to consider the, the university on a whole, and obviously the programs as well. So um, yeah, perhaps if I touch on the programs during the PowerPoint, uh, and then we can do a bit of a Q&A afterwards. Um, and we're also going to be doing a bit of, um, Linus is going to share uh, his experience from a student perspective as well. So thanks, Linus. So um, yeah, that's great. So, Min, if you like, I can share my slides. Oh, yes, please. Yep, fantastic. Yep. All right, so you should be able to see my slides here. Um, let me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up if uh, you can see it, okay? Yeah, yes, you can I'm see it, right? Perfect. All right, let me just hide these meeting controls. So, yeah, welcome from, um, yeah, UniSA. I'm obviously working in the international office. Um, and I'm in charge of the UniSA Creative programs. And within UniSA Creative, we have our design and also architecture programs as well. All right, so we'll just go to the next slide. So uh, just a bit of an overview of UniSA. So we're a big university uh, with 37,000 students and close to 6,000 international students from many, many countries around the world. A very, very interesting place to study. Um, I always say it's almost like a bit of a mini UN with um, students coming from so many different countries. Um, so extremely yeah. interesting place. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of an overview of UniSA. So where rankings are important. So we're ranked in the top 50 under 50 for young universities. So we're a young and we're a progressive university um, and a real experiential university as well. Um, so you might hear about universities calling themselves experiential. So it's giving students a lot of practical experience. Um, in terms of graduate careers, you'll be pleased to know that we're South Australia's number one university for graduate careers. So that's a really, really important point. Obviously, when you when you study, you want to get a job afterwards. Um, so yeah, that's a really important point. Um, one of the reasons why I think we've achieved the higher graduate employment outcomes is uh, we collab we partner with more than two thousand five hundred companies worldwide and some really big companies as well. So in terms of Adelaide, for those who, of you who don't know Adelaide, so we're in South Australia and we we think it's one of Australia's best kept secrets. Um, it has a very high percentage of international students. Uh, in fact, uh, believe it or not, it actually has the highest percentage of international students out of any city in Australia. So we're blessed to have the beaches 20 minutes in one direction and the hills 20 minutes in the other direction as well. Um, so yeah, it really is a convenient city also. Uh, in terms of where we are, so you can see the map of Australia there. We are in South Australia, the section there in white, and we're one hour flight to Melbourne and two hours flight to Sydney, and around about eight or so hours to uh, Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, in terms of the climate, we're known as a Mediterranean climate. 
So we have uh, four really distinct seasons. So um, at the moment we're in spring, so the weather is finally warming up after after a bit of a cold winter. Um, but yeah, I like the four four definitely distinct seasons. Um, we have four university campuses in the city centre as well. And uh, the design and architecture programs, they're all at our city west campus, which is right in the centre of the city. Yeah. It really is set up as a student friendly destination. So we have free Wi-Fi in the city centre, um, free trams and some free buses through the city centre as well. So very, very convenient. Um, and yeah, it makes it um, easy to get around as well. Uh, in terms of livability, we're always saying how Adelaide is such a livable city. It's one of the, Australia's most livable cities uh, in terms of affordability, um, accessibility, etc. So in terms of affordability, we're around about 14% less than other major Australian cities. So that will save a lot of money over the lifetime of a program. Uh, in terms of student support, uh, we're very, very supportive universities. So us universities, we love to do rankings for pretty much anything you can imagine. And one of those rankings is student support. And we're constantly ranked within the top echelon of most supportive universities, constantly in the top one or two most supportive universities. Um, so yeah, one of the very great support uh, mechanisms that we've got is called career services. And career services, as the name suggests, will help you with things like, yeah, progressing your career. So uh, getting your resume ready, getting your cover letter ready, you know, mm -hmm. uh, vacancies, et cetera. Yeah. Right. Can I ask a question? Um, yeah, sure. Are the students very interested in uh, support for uh, inter internship and job placement? Do you have any internship support for students, um, especially for students who are studying architecture in UniSA? Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm going to get to a slide about that. that so we've oh, yeah. essentially, no, that's all right. I'll definitely cover that. Um, we have what we're, we call elective courses within the program. Um, and so for the Master of Architecture and also the Master of Design, there is the opportunity to do internships. Um, nice. And the uh, academic unit will certainly help the students out with securing those. So yeah, I'll, I'll cover that pretty shortly. But yeah, really, really good question, Min. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we're all about we're all about practical, um, the practical side of things. Um, yeah, accommodation as well. So we've got some um, student accommodation, walking distance, very close walking distance to the campus, um, whether it's student hostels, apartments, but this is a typical sort of um, student accommodation nearby the campus. All right, scholarships, they're very, very important, as we all know. Um, so we've got an International Merit Scholarship. This is our most common one. Uh, and this is a 15% fee reduction from the entire degree of the program. And what we do is we assess your previous grades. So as you can see on the, on, on the slide there, so for a bachelor, if you've studied Vietnam high school and you've got 8.5 and above, um, we will give you, uh, yeah, we'll automatically give you this scholarship. You don't even need to apply for it. Or if you've got an ATAR of 80 and above, we'll offer the scholarship to you. Likewise, if you're going into master's, if you have a GPA of 6.5 um, on a 10-point scale or three on a four-point scale, we'll offer this scholarship to you. So, yeah, as you can see, a really attainable scholarship. Uh, this is another scholarship we have. It's a, called a Vice Chancellor's International Excellence Scholarship. And this is a 50% fee reduction from the entire duration of the program. Now, this one is obviously a lot more uh, difficult to get. So if you've got really, really great grades in your previous studies, so if you've got um, Vietnam High School 9.5 and above um, or ATAR of 95 and above uh, for bachelor or for masters, if you've got a high distinction and above, uh, you can be invited to apply for this Vice Chancellor's International Excellence Scholarship. All right, so that's a bit about, you know, UniSA Adelaide and scholarships. So I'm going to talk to you about UniSA Creative and in particular, obviously, design and architecture. So our design and architecture uh, programs sit within UniSA Creative. And believe it or not, we're a young university, but we're a very old and prestigious design school dating back to 1856. So that's a lot of history and experience to draw upon. 
Um, in terms of facilities, they're really unparalleled in terms of the quality. So we have a architecture museum and it's the only one in Australia. We also have uh, beautiful studio spaces uh, and Linus will tell you about those as well. Uh, that one of our students who's joining us today. Um, so 24 seven access into the studio space. So when you come and study at UniSA, we take your photo, put it on a student ID card, and then this will get you into our studio spaces. Um, within the studio spaces, you're coming up with design ideas um, under the supervision of our teachers. And then you can take them down into our workshops and actually bring them into fruition in terms of models and prototypes and sometimes even production items as well. Um, we actually have one of the largest and most um, comprehensive uh, digital and also traditional workshops on a university campus anywhere in Australia. So, yeah, brilliant, brilliant facilities. I can't speak highly enough of the facilities. Um, in terms of practical, so we know practical is really important. I'm going to tell you a bit about Match Studio, Design Construct, and a bit about our internships that Min, uh, Min asked about, because internships are really, really important, as we know. All right, so these are the programs I'll talk to you about. So the Bachelor of Design, um, we have product design, we have communication design, we have illustration and animation. Now they're all three-year programs. Um, no portfolio for any of our undergraduate programs. So you don't need to present a portfolio. Um, essentially, we're gonna teach you everything that you need to know. We're gonna teach you how to design. We're gonna teach you how to draw. You, we're gonna teach you how to draw using the software. Um, and by the way, all of the software is on campus in our special computer pools as well. So you don't even need to have the software loaded onto your laptop. You don't even need a laptop, actually. We've, we've got all of the facilities on campus for you. All right. So, um, yeah, you will, not, you will need a portfolio for the Master of Design um, and also the Master of Architecture. So within the Master of Design, we're just looking at the green ones at the moment. So the Master of Design has a number of specialisations. Uh, so we've got industrial design, we've got contemporary art, we've got communication design, design and construct, interior architecture and sustainable design. And I'll go through each one of those um, shortly. And then for architecture, uh, we obviously have the Bachelor of Architectural Studies, and that's uh, what Linus is studying. And he's going to talk to us a bit about that as well. We've got the Master of Architecture and we've got the Bachelor of Interior Architecture. All right. So in regards to Min's question, really good question. We do have internships available. So uh, for the Bachelor of Interior Architecture, there is actually two internships guaranteed within the program, and they're both 60 hours each, and we'll organise those internships for the students. Um, and good news for you guys is that we're partnered with over 300 creative industry partners, some of the best design studios going around, and some of the best architectural practice firms. So in terms of getting that experience, it's spot on. Um, and yeah, as I said, some of the some of the best um, architectural practice firms going around. In terms of the Bachelor of Architectural Studies, mostly our students don't do an internship, but you can use an elective to do an optional internship. But, but mostly there isn't, students don't really do an internship in the Bachelor of Architectural Studies. However, they certainly do do an internship in the Master of Architectural Studies. So um, there are some electives throughout the program. Students can simply allocate one of those electives and choose a subject, which is essentially an internship subject. Um, and our, our staff will help organise those internships. Generally speaking, they're usually around about 150 hours each um, for the internships. Um, you can see some of the architectural practice firms and some of the design studios that we're partnered with there. All right, so this slide really does explain that get, having your qualification doesn't automatically me mean a job. So during the qualif qualifications that you'll be doing at UniSA, we make, the, we make sure that we include experience. Um, we also make sure we introduce you to contacts. So uh, most of our teachers are actually practicing architects who have great uh, or, or practicing designers and they've got great connections in the industry. So that's going to really benefit you. We've got things like industry lunchbox sessions where, um, you know, expert designers and architects come in to meet you guys and, and talk about a particular topic. Um, we've also got industry mentors that we allocate you with within uh, interior architecture and also the master of design. Uh, 
even we even teach you how to respond to like an expression of interest for a design project or an architectural project. So yeah, that's how we're getting such high graduate employment outcomes. This one here is called Match Studio. Um, so this is one, uh, this is a studio space on campus where essentially uh, industry approaches up us with a bunch of projects that they want our students to work on. So our students can allocate one of their elective subjects to choose a Match Studio project. So examples of projects that industry has approached us and got our students to work on, things like um, an app or uh, you know, putting together these cards. Um, this is actually another Match Studio project um, and Linus would recognize this one. This is actually our, um, this is our student lounge on the City West campus and it was actually designed by our interior architecture students and it was a subject that they did. It was a Match Studio subject. They used one of their electives and they designed the student lounge. So yeah, as you can see, we're really, really focused on great quality, practical learning. So when you graduate from your program, whether it's from design, whether it's from architecture, you've already got a portfolio that's world-class and, and you've got projects that you've worked on with, with real clients. So really, really important. Another opportunity to use another elective is a thing called design and construct. Now, this is another workshop space, uh, which is actually on our Mawson Lakes campus. Um, and so students can use another one of their electives to choose a design and construct subject. So essentially what it is, is you can, uh, you can work on a real building um, and they construct the building in the workshop and then they deconstruct the building and they put it on the back of a truck. It's almost like a big Ikea project. They put it on the back of a truck and take it out to remote locations. Um, and they they construct these buildings on site. So this mm -hmm. is a, this is one example of um, a match studio project. Um, and this is actually in the Northern Territory. So our students went out and constructed this on site with the Aboriginal ranges. Um, so yeah, they're not only getting the design skills, but also those technical skills, architecture skills as well. So generally our uh, architecture, also our interior architecture and industrial design students work on these buildings. All right, so in terms of architecture, we are number one in all of Australia for teaching quality. So you can be rest assured, really great quality in teaching and top five in Australia for work ready graduates. So yeah, our students uh, do get jobs. Uh, the Bachelor of Architectural Studies, so that is a three year program. So to be, be a qualified architect, you need to do the three year bachelor plus the two year masters. The good news is that we can actually package the three plus two for you with SATAC. Um, so yeah, you can apply through StudyLink or through SATAC and we can package the Bachelor of Architecture with a Master of Architecture, three plus two. Uh, they've got February and July intakes. They're both at our City West campus um, and the, the Bachelor requires an IELTS of six in total and six in reading and writing and an ATAR of seven, uh, 75. So in terms of who you're being taught by, you're being taught by over 100 award-winning teachers and practicing architects. So really, really high quality teaching, as well as those real world experiences as well. Actually, half of your degree is spent in the studio spaces on campus working on your projects. Um, so yeah, very practically focused. In terms of the Master of Architecture, this is the two year program. Um, you obviously need to do your bachelor first. This has got a um, uh, this is thirty seven thousand dollars per annum, and it requires a six point five IELTS, six in reading and six in writing. If you have done your bachelor of uh, architecture in Australia, no need to present a portfolio. However, if you're joining us today from Vietnam, uh, we will need to see your portfolio. So in terms of our Master of Architecture, we've had really very high employment outcomes, uh, close to, uh, yeah, close to full employment for um, our architecture students. Uh, yeah, so if we just go through that, so real, you get to work on, with real clients as well. All right, this is the structure of the Master of Architecture. So you'll do four subjects each semester. It looks like three there, but um, your uh, your first one, the design studio is actually worth two subjects. So you can see the elective subjects that are through, through the program there. They're very, very important because you can do internships, you can do practical projects. All right. In terms of the Master of Architecture portfolio requirements, 
Um, simply all we need is a minimum of 15 images and a brief description of each of those images. Um, yeah, so we want to see your thought process behind your design ideas and give us a variety of your projects to really showcase your skills. Um, but just remember, if you've done your architecture program in Australia, um, no need to provide your portfolio. Uh, some of you here in Adelaide might rec recognize this building. Uh, it's the, we refer to it as the cheese grater, but this is, uh, this is just one of our partner companies. It's um, Woods Bagot uh, designed um, this building. So that's one of our partner architect companies. All right, so in terms of job outcomes, um, we have had close to full employment for our architecture students over the last 10 years. So I know your program director very well, and he assures me that, um, yeah, that our students have um, found jobs very easily once they've completed the Master of Architecture and we've had close to full employment. Um, just a quick side note. So when you complete the Master of Architecture, um, you can still get paid as an you can still get paid with an, archi an architectural practice firm, um, but you can't technically call yourself an architect until you've done two years of experience and sat the architectural practice exam. So that's just a bit of knowledge for you after you complete your Master of Architecture. Architecture. All right, so that's a bit about architecture. We'll take questions afterwards. I'm going to focus a bit on design now. Uh, so the Master of Design, we've got um, a number of different specialisations. Um, these are all two-year programs. They're all at City West. They all get to utilise our fantastic facilities and the studios and the workshops. Um, they're all $34,000 per annum, but remember the scholarships that I mentioned earlier. Um, and as I said, the Master of Design does require a portfolio. Um, so the portfolio is going to be very similar to what's required for architecture. So 15 images minimum uh, and a really a brief description of each image as well. All right. So to go into any one of these specializations, you will need a related background. So if you want to go into communication design, so communication design is sometimes known as graphic design. Um, you'll need a uh, a similar qualification in your undergraduate. So you need to come from a background such as graphic design or communication design or visual design. All right, so you can see if you wanna do design and construct. Um, so that's, uh, you would need to come from an architecture background or a planning or an urban design background. Interior architecture, um, as you can see the background areas for all of those different um, specializations there as well. So in a nutshell, you will need to come from a related background into the Master of Design specialisations. All right, so in terms of design, we're extremely well known for design. So we're in the top 10 in Australia for uh, design for QS uh, as per the QS rankings. Um, so really highly ranked or rated. Um, you'll be taught by designers who have great networks. So that's gonna help you out in terms of, you know, uh, contacts with jobs, et cetera, afterwards. Um, as I said, we have the studio spaces on campus where you spend a lot of the time in those studio spaces working on your design ideas, and then you can take them to the, uh, the workshop spaces and you can come up with models and prototypes, etc. All right, so once you graduate from the Master of Design, uh, you'll be eligible for graduate membership to the Design Institute of Australia. Um, and the Design Institute of Australia has access to, will give you sort of access to the latest job uh, vacancies and um, upskilling and all of those really helpful things. Uh, so the Master of Design, uh, so you do three subjects, or well, it's technically four subjects a semester, but the research studio and the master's projects, they're all worth two subjects. And those electives, same thing as the Master of Architecture, for the electives, you can use them to do an internship or you could use them to do a match studio project working on a real project with a real client. Or you could use them to do a design and construct project as well. So yeah, the electives are really, really beneficial. Within the Master of Design as well, we also teach you some business, uh, some business expertise as well, because a lot of our designers sometimes go into their own practice. So we do give you some business expertise also. All right, so industrial design, that's obviously designing really anything that we use on a daily basis, um, whether it's, uh, these are some of the student projects. So you can see a glass top pool table, you can see medical uh, implements, you can see bathroom products, 
you can see the exploded view of a, of a wheelchair. Um, you can see uh, solar cars there as well. Our students actually worked with our engineering students and they designed um, solar cars that they raced around the world. So some really great pro, uh, projects that our industrial design students work on. Um, one of the program directors within this is actually, he actually used to be a, a designer for BMW. Um, so yeah, you're getting um, taught by you know, really, really high quality. Some of the recent employment outcomes for our industrial design students. So you probably reckon, recognize some of these brands. So some really big brands there. So Master of Architecture, uh, students will receive, will link you up with a mentor in your final year. Um, so yeah, that, that's a really, really handy thing for, for our interior architecture students. Uh, design and construct. Uh, so you can actually do a whole master's degree around design and construct. And this is essentially working on building projects right from implementation to construction and beyond. Communication design, as I said, that's around sort of graphic design. So anything that communicates a message, whether it's digital, print, three-dimensional, et cetera. Um, so yeah, again, opportunity to work with real clients. Contemporary art. So we have all the different specializations from photo to digital, um, textiles, ceramics, jewelry, et cetera. So um, a lot of different specializations and the workshop spaces are world-class. There's even things like glass blowing and yeah, as I said, jewelry making, uh, ceramics, you name it. All right, so that's the Master of Design. Uh, the Bachelor of Design, these are three-year programs. No portfolio required into these ones um, and no previous uh, experience or previous background. We're going to teach you everything you need to know. So we have three different specializations. So product design, that's very similar to industrial design. We've got communication design and illustration and animation also. These programs, um, yeah, so starting with a Bachelor of Design, Illustration, Animation. This is the only degree in all of Australia that combines both those uh, specializations of illustration and also animation. Why is that so important? Because essentially any, any animated movie starts with a, with a drawing and then it goes through to being animated. So we, we teach you that whole process. Um, so this, this program will essentially get you careers in areas such as gaming, um, you know, creating games, the animated um, characters for games or movies or advertising, um, comic books even is one of the, one of the job outcomes from this program. Um, we're going to teach you all you need to know about all of the, the software that you need uh, in industry. So typical job outcomes, things like an illustrator, obviously a gaming artist, a concept artist, um, special effects artist. Um, you name it. So product design, uh, this one is, as I said, very similar to industrial design. This is one of our Chinese students actually working in our workshop space. Um, and she was actually working on a real life match studio project. Um, and this was designing um, trophies for business SA awards. So she actually designed those trophies that you can see there as well. So yeah, very, very practical. Um, all right and Bachelor of Design Communication Design. So this was actually uh, some of our students in communication design, they worked on an app, uh, it's called Monster Me, and it's actually a mental health app. Uh, and this is another um, Match Studio project that the students worked on. So they were approached by uh, a mental health organization who wanted them to develop this app. And so they did that and they won an award for it. So yeah, some great practical learning opportunities. Typical career outcomes from this particular program are areas such as obviously a graphic designer, um, information designer, uh, brand consultant, etc. I always tell people for this particular qualification, if you have a passion in any industry, there's always going to be a communication designer who will design your website, who will design your brochures, your PowerPoint presentations, etc. All right, design job outcomes are definitely on the rise, which is really great for you guys. So um, Job Outlook, which is an Australian government site, says that um, interior designers is, is really on the rise there. Um, you can see the weekly pay, strong future growth projected. The same for graphic designers, illustrators, et cetera. Um, and also, yeah, some jewelry designers, et cetera. All right, so um, that's it for me. I've gone through a lot of information um in a very short space of time so i hope that's really helpful for you um 
Yeah. And I think I've done it in exactly the right time, Min. Is that okay? <laughs> I haven't gone yeah, over that's, that's very uh -huh. good. Thank, thank you, Adrian, for sharing information. There's so, so much information, useful information for our students. And um, so we got a, a question earlier from one of our students. Do you have double degree with architecture and should they go for the double degree option? Uh, when you say double degree, so we, if you, um, yeah, so we have yeah. a three plus two, so you would need to do the bachelor of three years and then the mm -hmm. master's two years. We can package that together. Um, yeah. If you want to do a double degree, if you're talking about doing a double degree of master's only, we do actually have those opportunities as well. So we could do a, a, a two-year Master of Architecture. And if yeah. you do one extra year with us, you could get a Master of Sustainable Design with that, or wow. you could get a Master of Design and Construct with that as well. Um, so there's some opportunities. We do actually have, yeah, a double degree for Master's areas if you want to. And it will take, rather than four years, you can get two Master's qualifications in three yeah. years. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, I think it's very useful information. And um, for the portfolio, do you have any special requirement for the portfolio? Yeah, so really, in a nutshell, we need minimum 15 images of a range of your design products or, a, uh, sorry, a range of your design projects or a range of your architecture projects. I would recommend to do the dimensions of each project, uh, a yeah. brief description. So we want to know the thought process behind your design ideas um, and just um, use a, a variety of your projects as well. So it can really showcase the variety of your skills and knowledge, et cetera. So we want to know, we want to not just see the, the, the projects, we want to hear about your thought process behind your design ideas as well. Mm, yeah, thank you. We got some more questions for you, but before coming back to um, the information about the courses, so we'd like to ask one question with um, our with Linus, our student today. Um, so um, I've got a question for you from one of the students. Um, khi, khi mà em mình chuyển qua tiếng Việt ha, khi mà em tham dự cái um, Khóa học này á, thì bạn hỏi là mình có nên tham dự tham dự các project hay là portfolio ngay từ cấp 3 để mà thuận lợi cho việc học ngành này khi mà là đại học hay không thức hả? Cảm ơn Seth um, đã mời mình tới dự. Thank you Andreas for the speech. It was lovely. Um, thì để trả lời cho cái câu hỏi này thì là uh, theo mình thì mình nghĩ là các bạn nên um, dự các cái project liên quan tới không chỉ những là architecture nhưng mà tới những cái ngành nghệ thuật khác thì cũng rất là tốt cho portfolio thì như um, Adrian đã nói thì là portfolio cũng khá là quan trọng khi mà nộp vào uh, trường Junior A thì theo mình cho các bạn mà chưa có kiến thức uh, về architecture hoặc là chuẩn bị vào ngành kiến trúc thì là thì là mình có thể Um, bao gồm những cái mà mình những cái môn mà nghệ thuật mà mình yêu thích như là fine art hoặc graphic design hoặc là những cái ngành nghệ thuật khác mà mình mình thích mình cho vào folio cũng được uh, không nhất thiết phải là kiến trúc bởi vì bởi vì mình mới mà mình cũng thứ nhất là mình cũng chưa có biết là kiến trúc nó sẽ như thế nào thì ừ. theo mình theo mình thì mình nghĩ là cứ bao gồm những cái mà ngành nghệ thuật khác nhau cho vào folio ví dụ như nếu các bạn thích vẽ thì các bạn cho vẽ vào các bạn thích chụp hình các bạn cho chụp hình vào cũng được bởi vì là ngành kiến trúc thì nó rất là bao quát nó không chỉ bao gồm là các tài nhà khác nhau mà nó đồng thời cũng là nó liên quan tới nhạc nó liên quan tới chụp hình nó liên quan tới rất là nhiều thứ cho nên là các bạn cứ cho hết vào còn ừ. các event thì project thì mình khuyến khích các bạn là các bạn attend là tham dự tất cả các cái event càng nhiều càng tốt bởi vì nó không chỉ giúp các bạn là là mình học hỏi được nhiều th nhiều nhiều thứ khác nhau nhưng mà đồng thời là cũng 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 gọi là biết được thêm nói chung là connection cho này nọ cũng nhiều hơn yeah. ừ. thực ra thì um, bạn Đức là học sinh của Seth từ lâu và bạn có background cũng khá là đặc biệt tại vì Đức đã hoàn thành xong chương trình Interior Design ở bachelor rồi bốn năm bachelor của interior design rồi và sau đó thì đức mới quyết định là chuyển qua là bachelor của architecture và package learn master của architecture thì không biết là cái việc mà em học hai cái ngành nó cũng khá là 
liên quan tới em như vậy thì có hỗ trợ gì cho em trong quá trình em lên học chuyển từ interior design sang architecture không nước khác? Là cũng um, khi mình học interior thì nó cũng hỗ trợ khá là nhiều bởi vì là thực ra là hai hai cái ngành này thì nó khá là tương đồng với nhau thì interior chỉ đơn thuần là không gian mình người, mọi người thường hay nghĩ thì interior là uh, thiết kế theo kiểu uh, nội thất này nọ nhưng mà interior thì nó bao quát hơn nó là không gian thì mình có thể thiết kế bên trong tòa nhà hoặc là ở ngoài trời thì nó thì mình cũng nó cũng hỗ trợ cho bên kiến trúc thì khi mà mình thiết kế một cái tòa nhà bên kiến trúc thì mình không chỉ tập trung vào cái dáng bề ngoài exterior của của kiến trúc mà là đồng thời cũng là mình trải nghiệm cái không gian ở bên trong của cái tòa nhà nó như thế nào À, cho nên là theo mình là mình nghĩ là hai cái nó cũng khá là quan trọng với nhau thì cho nên là hai cái nó bổ trợ cho nhau khá là nhiều. Ừ. Vậy thì um, trong lúc quá trình học đó, thì Đức thấy là các môn học thì có có vừa sức mình hay là hay là có quá dễ khi mà em đã có bắt ra về uh, interior design không? À, dễ thì cũng không gọi là dễ lắm nhưng mà um, nói về độ nặng thì là Architecture thì cũng cái cái độ bài nhận được cũng khá là nhiều nhưng mà ừ. tùy vào cái cách mà mình phân chia thời gian như thế nào cho phù hợp thì như trường UNESA được một cái là họ rất là organize là có nghĩa là cứ mỗi theo tuần là họ sẽ ví dụ như là tuần này là mình sẽ đi um, đi ra ngoài mình mình visit một cái location một cái địa điểm thì ừ. tuần sau thì họ sẽ báo cho mình là uh, tuần sau là mình chỉ nhận feedback về về, về uh, nghiên cứu về cái địa điểm đấy xong rồi sau đấy nói chung là họ chia ra những tuần là vị tuần này mình tập trung vào thiết kế tuần sau mình tập trung vào bài vẽ cho nên là họ giúp mình on track on track với lại schedule này nọ à, ok vậy thì trong lúc mà em đi học quá thì em thấy cái việc mà kết hợp giữa lý thuyết và thực hành thì như thế nào hả um, à, mình thấy là lý thuyết thì là họ rất là bài bản khi mà mình vào thì thực ra là khi mà mình mới vào architecture thì là mình rất là kiểu mình rất là sợ bởi vì là mình nghe là architecture rất là nhiều xây nhiều cái kiểu xây dựng là kiến uh, uh, kỹ sư là nhiều cái rất là kiểu hơi khô thì ừ. với một, mình là một người kiểu hơi trên hướng hơn về nghệ thuật một tí thì mấy cái đó thì mình hơi lo mà khi ừ. mình mới vào trường thì uh, thầy cô cũng gọi là giúp mình rất là bài bản thì cũng 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 gọi là dạy cho mình tự, uh, Uh, từng tí một đó cho nên là cũng không không lo lắm về ừ. thực hành thì là ví dụ như mình bình thường lớp của mình mình sẽ chia làm hai cái một cái là lecture một cái là practical thì buổi sáng sớm thì uh, trước khi vào lớp học thì mình sẽ có một cái video online thì thầy sẽ ừ. giảng hết các cái lý thuyết xong rồi sau đó là cái, cái video lý thuyết đó sẽ đăng trước uh, một ngày trước khi mà lớp uh, bắt đầu thì mình có thể xem trước xong rồi sau đó là thực hành thì sau khi à, là tới lớp thì là mình sẽ áp dụng luôn cho nên là ừ. sẽ hỗ yeah, trợ cho nhau. Ừ. Ok. Um, thì không biết là trong ngành học này thì đức có cảm thấy là có mình có cần phải có năng khiếu hay là kỹ năng gì đặc biệt để có thể bắt đầu được học theo đúng cái này không á? Um, về năng khiếu thì tất nhiên là phải có một tí background về nghệ thuật này nọ. Ừ. Um, Ví dụ như nếu, uh, nếu các bạn thích vẽ thì kiểu vẽ sẽ là một cái rất là quan trọng cho cái ngành này thì chỉ không không chỉ những quan trọng nhưng mà kiểu nó rất, rất là giúp ích trong việc uh, học trong kiến trúc uh, nếu mà bạn nào mà kiểu thắc mắc là kiểu mình có thể chuẩn bị gì cho kiến trúc thì mình nghĩ là là các bạn cũng có thể là có học kiểu tìm hiểu về các phần mềm vẽ máy tính hoặc là kiểu tìm tìm cách vẽ tay cũng được à, ừ. thì mình nghĩ là chuẩn bị về mấy cái đấy thì nó cũng cũng sẽ tốt. Ừ. Ok. Um, so we got we also have one question from um, the student and the student from high school and um, they would like to visit the USA for a campus tour to have a look at your uh, facilities and um, your Um, studios and everything. So, is it possible for us to um, arrange a campus tour someday for the student to come and 
of see. course absolutely i'd be uh, i'd be thrilled to show people around so yeah definitely perhaps if they get in contact with you min and then we can yeah. coordinate a uh, a campus tour yeah i'd love to show you around the studios the workshops and the whole campus more than happy to do that yeah and yeah. let us also share um some a little bit of information about how he study in UNISA and how the course is arranged. Um, it would be great if um, the student can come directly to see you and also see Linus someday to, uh, yeah, to get to feel and to go know more about the architecture and design um, courses in UNISA. Yeah, um, we also have one another another question from um, our student. Um, so she is asking if um, if she doesn't meet you the um, entry requirement after completing Bachelor of Architecture studies. Um, is there any alternative pathway for her to do the master degree? Uh, so yeah, in terms of the, so if she does the Bachelor of Architecture with us and she doesn't meet the entry requirements for the Master of Architecture. Yeah, I think um, she um, yeah, I'm making an assumption that if she doesn't meet uh, the right. entry requirement, right, what should right, she right. do? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, usually there's, uh, well, there, there could be an option of doing the Master of Urban and Regional Planning. Um, yeah. That could be another option. The Master of Design, Design and Construct, that's another, that's another way that our architecture students sometimes go. Um, so, yeah, there are probably two other options um, that, yeah, you could do a Master of Sustainable Design, Master of Design, Sustainable Design, uh, design and construct or urban and regional planning. I would say actually they're the three options um, that they could go down. So oh, yeah, yeah. definitely definitely three options. Yeah, yeah. So um, well, another question is for uh, for Linus. So do you have any um, suggestion or recommendations for other students who want to do the master of bachelor in architecture? Um, so for bachelor, um, I would suggest that, um, like I shared the information before, so it would be great if they could, um, experience as much as possible. So this does not relate it to only, um, the architecture. It could be like anything, like, like I said before, music, fine art communications, or it could be anything like literally anything yeah. because architecture like I, I said is very um interdisciplinary so it's it's basically include everything every field so no matter what you do no matter what you care or no matter what you observe things around as long as you delve a little bit deeper on that information so it would be helpful a lot for architecture and it will definitely help make it easier for the course as well yeah so, yeah yeah, thank you. Uh, we got another question from a student. Um, she's doing Bachelor in Business, and in case she wants to transfer to Bachelor of Architecture, does she need to study any um, additional subjects? No, she won't need to study any subjects. The only problem is she won't probably get much credit, if any mm -hmm. at all, um, from business yeah. because it's so, so different. But, yeah, certainly can. Um, but, yeah, won't get really any credit for that yeah 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 so um another question here for linus do you what do you choose at lay for architecture um so it's a little bit personal for me to be honest so um for my original background i was uh, first study my interior in melbourne for yeah. uh, four years um so after that time partly is because obviously it's COVID. So I don't, it's COVID and lockdown, so it's very hard to um, do anything or move around. And yeah. also I feel like staying four years in Melbourne, Melbourne would be quite a long year. So it would be ideal to get to know other cultures in um, different Australia as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so one of my friends actually um, suggested me to move down to Adelaide since mm. it's somewhat similar to Melbourne, but it's very humble in a way. So yeah, that's curious me a little bit. So that's why I decided to choose Adelaide. Yeah. So for um, UNESA, do you have any support for students from uh, interstate moving to Adelaide to study at UNESA? 
Um, definitely sets would help me a lot with all of the um, the paperwork and organizations because at that time it's pretty hectic for me as I only have like a very short amount of time to organize um, all the papers and folios to collect. Yeah. So yeah, so partly mm -hmm. thanks um, for sets to um, organize all of the paperwork to support me. Yeah, thank you, Linus. Um, a good news is that um, có một tin vui là văn phòng set thì mới mở văn phòng thứ bảy tại Adelaide. Thì hiện tại là nếu như mà các bạn có nhu cầu chuyển tới Adelaide thì cứ tự tin là văn phòng set có thể hỗ trợ các bạn ngay tại Adelaide ha. Thì nhân dịp này thì set còn đang có chương trình promotion đặc biệt cho các bạn làm hồ sơ với set trong thời gian này, set Adelaide trong thời gian này là tặng một trăm phần trăm phí visa cho các bạn. Nếu mà các bạn có nhu cầu thì có liên hệ với um, Facebook của Sát, du học Sát nha. Um, so we got another question for Adrian and Linus. So after after completing the bachelor and master of architecture, is it easy to find a job as an architect? Yep. All right, very very good question. Um, so yeah, yeah, a job will never fall into your lap, but um, yeah, as the program director of the Master of Architecture keeps assuring me, is that um, we've experienced really really high employment outcomes from our graduates from the Master of Architecture. Um, so yeah, the reason why I think we can get that is that we are connected with the industry so much with the internships, um, with the program being taught in part by practicing architects. Um, but yeah, the, you're not. We're not going to find you the job. It's still up to you to find the job. But we're going to help you out as much as possible. So we've got a thing called career services, um, mm -hmm. and they will help you out with your resume, with your um, you know cover letter, with all of that type of thing. But my biggest tip to students is this: work on your technical skills, but also your communication skills, because. Usually in interviews, um, it's very, very important to have the communication skills along with your with your qualifications, essentially, because if you've got great, great um, grades and great qualifications, but you can't communicate yourself, you're not going to get the job. So, yeah, great communication skills and great qualification. Um, yeah, and you're well on your way. And also during your program, make sure that you do try and do an internship as well. Really, really important. Yeah. Thank you. And oh, the other cool thing is you're going to graduate with a pretty world-class or pretty high-quality portfolio um, mm -hmm. when you graduate from the program that you'll be able to sit down with employers and say, you know, this is a this is a real project I worked on in Match Studio or this is a real project I worked on in Design and Construct, et cetera. So mm -hmm. that's really going to help you as well. Yeah. So, um, Linus, I think that's this the maybe the last question for our live stream today. And um, so the question is for Linus: Why, why did you choose the package of Bachelor and Master of Architecture? So, um, is it possible to choose? I think it's possible to choose the Bachelor only. But why did you choose the package of um, Bachelor and Master when you apply for UniSA? Yeah. Um. So to answer this question, uh, it will flash back to what Andrian was mentioned before, how um, once you graduate as a bachelor's architecture student, you can only be a draft person or can um, just work generally in an architecture firm. Um, so um, part of that answers to my passionate because like, I want to further studies in master and I, I want to receive like a higher um ambitious for myself if that makes sense but um yeah and also um for bachelor uni essay teach you like a very sh uh, show you like a very um proper skills to how to draw how to um doing site diagrams and all that but then when you move forwards to master it is all of those skills from bachelor will be applied and that is when you reach to master UniSA start to teach you how to build your folios how to gather all of the projects together so that you you could build like a very strong folios moving towards to the industry so yeah that's why i decided to choose master yeah thank you so thank you very much adrian linus and sylvia for being here with us today um, so we still have some questions popping up from our side, but um, yeah, we will send the um, 
questions to you, and then we will get in contact with our, our students to arrange the campus tour one day. Yeah, thank you very much again for being here with us today. And uh, yeah, do you have any um thing to other thing to tell, suggest to our future students? Yeah, thanks, Min, and thanks so much for Set as well for arranging this talk. Really, really do appreciate. I hope it's been beneficial. Do reach out to Set; they are the experts that will help you out with your application with the whole process. Um, and yeah, uh, in terms of design and architecture, uh, UniSA is absolutely first class. It's going to give you practical experience. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope to see you on campus one day and uh, Linus and I will be happy to um, take you around for a tour or catch up with you on campus. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. No problem. Bye for now. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you.